Good evening, Victory Tribe, and welcome to Thursday Night Victory Now. My name is Michelle Repke, and I am a third-year Bible student here at Victory Christian Center, and I'm very honored to be here with you today. And it has been a trip. The Lord has had me on a trip for about four years now, calling me into places that I never dreamed I would ever be. And so... I want to talk to you today a little bit about rest, and I want to start out with a picture of the game Tug of War. Um, If you think back about this game that we all used to probably play in school, you know, you have one team on this side and another team on this side, and you're going back and forth. It's a uh, struggle between the strong and the weak, and really Tug of War Um, this scenario of this game is what I've been seeing in a lot of people's life, even my own life sometimes, you know, that it is a struggle to try to make ends meet. And when the things uh, are going today, you know, we find it much easier to get caught in this back and forth struggle. And so today I just want to speak the word of rest over your life. And I want to show you through the scriptures, that Jesus is our promised land and that he is our more than enough, no matter what we're facing, what goes on today or tomorrow, that he is always going to be more than enough for us. So in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 10 through 12, tells us a little bit about the promised land that God intended for the children of Israel. Um, it says, just as I, the Lord, your God promised your ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I will give you a land with large and prosperous cities, which you did not build. The houses there will be full of good things, which you did not put in them. And there will be wells there that you did not dig and vineyards and olive orchards that you did not plant. When the Lord, when I bring you into this land and that you have eaten all that you want, make certain that you do not forget the Lord who rescued you from Egypt where you were slaves. So freedom from bondage is what the Lord intends for us. The Lord intends for us to be struggle free in this time that we're living in. Egypt was a place where the children of Israel were slaves, they had to work to build another man's city. They had to daily struggle with the workload that the Egyptians were adding on to them. From sun up to sundown, they had no rest, they had no peace, and they were always in a constant state of wonder. When are we going to come to our place of rest? So if you're going through something like sounds like this, an Egypt tribulation, then I want to reassure you that there is a rest for you and that you do not have to struggle the way they struggled then. And the only way that I can reassure you through that God has a rest for you is through the word. And I want to read Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 through 30 out of the Passions translation. Jesus is talking to the ones around him and he says, Are you weary? Are you carrying a heavy burden? Come to me. I will refresh your life, for I am your oasis. Simply join your life with mine. Learn my ways and you will discover that I am gentle, that I am humble, that I am easy to please, and you will find refreshment and you will find rest in me. For all that I require of you will be pleasant and it will be easy to bear. So when you're living by the world standards or even by your own standards, when you're trying to make all the ends meet, you go under this heavy bondage. And I have a picture here, and hopefully you'll be able to see it. But it is a man carrying four large boulders on his back. This is a picture that the Lord showed me. 
that when we're living out of our promised land, when we're living outside of this place where God is intended for us to be, this is what life looks like. Very, very heavy. And no wonder that it took, you know, the children of Israel when they were trying to get to their promised land 40 years because doing it out of unbelief, you know, packs boulders on our lives. And so I believe that you're here today because Jesus loves you so much that he's ready for you to stand up in your identity and knock the boulders off, that today is your day of freedom and today is your day to see yourself in the promised land, in Jesus. You see, God, our creator, believes in rest himself because in Genesis 2, 2, it says, and on the seventh day, God ended this work, which he made. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. And I'm not saying that we're supposed to just sit down and never do anything else ever again and just be like, okay, God, you do it all. No, what I'm saying is, is that when you come to a situation and you see this situation as it is, and if you're standing in Christ, you know that Christ defeated the foe already. And so you look at this situation knowing that you have the victory. So if you are looking at it as if, you know, you don't know for sure what the outcome is going to be, you'll handle things different. So what I want you to see today is that you go from victory to victory, no matter what comes your way, and that you can rest in God's faithfulness. What's amazing to me, though, about this uh, creation story where God rested, and we know on the seventh day he rested, the six days he worked, but as he worked, all the things that needed to be done before Adam and Eve, he created those things first. And Adam and Eve was placed in a place where it was already fully furnished for them. It was an already done deal. They just got brought into perfection. And so when we look back on the word that God just given to us about the promised land, that we'd come into a place where the houses were built already, the wells were dug already, the gardens were planted already. This is God's plan for us. Even today, this is God's plan for us. And so think about like when you go on vacation. And when you come into that place of vacation, you are careless and you don't have no worries. You're not stressed out. You're not wondering, you know, if... Chores have to be get getting done, but you do things on vacation that you normally wouldn't do on a normal day. And so thinking about going on vacation, you know, this is the promised land that God has intended for you every day. A care less. You care less. Not that you don't care about anything, but you care less every day knowing that his promises are for sure happening for you. So if you've had these thoughts, you know, how am I going to make ends meet? How am I going to get all this done? Do I need to pick up another job? Do I never do I need to pick up two more jobs? You know, what's going to happen in a year? What's going to happen in two years because of everything going on? You know, if those thoughts have come to you and they have me, it's like this man carrying these boulders. You just keep putting one more boulder on top of another. And so today, though, the Lord says... These are things that you don't have to worry about because in Matthew 6, he tells us to seek his kingdom first and his righteousness. And when we're seeking his kingdom and his righteousness first, then we're joining our life with his life. And we're not worrying about the things that are coming, but we're resting and we're enjoying our fellowship with the Lord because he is always going to be there for us. And so if this has touched you today, I just want to speak a blessing over your life. If you're going through things where you feel like, you know, every step is a million pounds to even get your foot off the floor and go, you know, I just want to speak freedom over you. I want to speak God's rest over you because God's rest is the best rest. And we can just keep our eyes on Jesus and know that he's going to come through for us every time.
So praise the Lord. Uh, This has been good. I have been glad to be here with you today. And if this spoke anything to you at all, join next week because we're going to keep talking about rest. We all need rest. And so you are blessed and highly favored in the name of Jesus.